Asa Ashwach, the Israeli-born, London-based designer, is a pioneer in the use of additive manufacturing, otherwise known as digital printing. For him, computer programs are a form of artificial intelligence that can maximize the aesthetic, structural, and material qualities of a product or architectural form. Asa calls the process digital forming, and since that time has been at the forefront of experimentation and practice in the use of advanced digital tools and manufacturing methods. Asa was Kyoto D-Lab's 2017 designer in residence. He worked in collaboration with KIT material scientist, assistant professor Yoko Okahisa of the Department of Biobased Materials, who is a specialist on bamboo and cellulose nanofibers. And Associate Professor Yukihiro Nishikawa, a 3D scanning expert from the Department of Macromolecular Science and Engineering. Tomohiro Inoue, who runs D-Lab's digital fabrication space, oversaw the 3D printing of the prototypes. The team was completed by Dr. Kazunari Mastani of the Department of Biobased Materials, who produced all the PLA filament that was used. Professor Julia Kasim of D-Lab initiated and oversaw the project. This is the biological structure coming from the microstructure of the bamboo um, that we managed to translate. So this is a 3,000 times large, larger uh, microstructure. So you can see that this is basically taking us through a journey inside the microstructure. And you, at any point, if you stop, you can look around and see how interesting the structure is. And this is where we basically, I created a, a new type of STEM uh, design technology, you can say where we basically, and all of these are experiments, you can see. Um, and the STEM design uh, technology is growing structures in 45 degrees split. So you might look at it and say, oh yeah, it looks a little bit like a tree, but the intelligence here is not really the tree uh, aesthetics. The intelligence is about talking the machine language and at the same time being optimized and strong. Using this concept of uh, layer by layer, we can grow these objects uh, limited and within the boundaries of 45 degrees. We started to really design this uh, automated or semi-automated uh, design process. 
ただ単純にその造形物を出すというところだけではその椅子としての強度を保てないので、えー、本学の繊維科学センターの増谷さんに協力していただいて特別にフィラメントを作っていただいておりますそれを元にプロトタイプをやっていくことで最適なパラメーターというものを出していくというプロジェクトとなっております This is the STEM chair. Um, it's one of the objects in the collection um, and you can see that um, everything here is, is made using an, an automated script uh, and you can see that the branching here is happening in 45 degrees because a chair is a very, is a, is a very structural element so it's a great, great case study for me to experiment with uh, support Ergonomics, also, this chair is actually growing around the body, so it's ergonomically working better uh, and it's also carrying a lot. But yes, this system um, can improve on architecture. Human intelligence versus machine intelligence. I think we need to automate and use some scripting and algorithms and working with scientists and computer scientists also. To create these autonomous scripts that are offering better savings in energy, saving in material, and so on. But at the same time, we always have to think about creativity and human intelligence and where it's, is it really, really needed and required the most. And I believe in、um, amplifying human capacity rather than replacing human capacity. So, amplifying creativity with automation. But yes, this system、um, can、uh, help and、um, Improve on architecture, automotive design, aerospace, anything that needs to be strong, lightweight,、um, this can really improve、uh, and, and, and help you.